and the monsters have landed on the moon. This is Mission Control with Tony Brown. Come in, Tony. Well, in preparation for Monsters Moon Landing Night presented by Dominion Energy, we're here at the Great Lakes Science Center in Cleveland at the official NASA Glenn Research Visitors Center. Let's head on inside and learn a lot about space and Cleveland's role in NASA's greater mission. Cleveland has had an intricate role in every phase of space exploration since NASA began. From testing and designing engines, um, learning how to use liquid fuel as opposed to solid fuel for those engines, all of those tests were done here. You know, we know the process that hockey players go through in putting on their equipment. What's the process like in applying a space suit? How, how many people does that take? How long does that take? What's that uh, Hey man, it, it depends on, on where you are. This is a, this is a moon era suit. Uh, since this time, this suit's close to 50 years old. So the suits have gotten better. They've gotten uh, uh, easier to put on. Uh, when this suit was made, each suit had to be custom made for each astronaut. This is actually two, uh, two vehicles in one. This upper part is its own small, tiny spaceship, and it has its own ascent motor back here. So you would use this entire vehicle to land on the surface, and then the lower portion would be used as a launch pad when the crew was ready to go back up and rendezvous with the, uh, with the mothership. Now the shape itself, as you've noticed, is more like a, like a kind of like a gumdrop. Um, it's rounded on the bottom. This is the, uh, the command module itself, a little blunt there at the top. The top contained a flotation device because back then all of our spacecraft landed in the water, so we wanted to make sure it didn't sink. Um, it also contained the parachute, part of the recovery system, for landing it safely with the crew on board. Can I touch it? I didn't say anything. <laughs> Go ahead, reach out there. That's crazy. Incredible piece of equipment. Just love this thing, man. Commander sat over here, and that's probably where you would sit, right over here on this side. Flight controls are, uh, are in there. On the arm, you can control the roll, the pitch, and the yaw of the spacecraft. This is a guy who inspired me as a kid growing up. I, I always wanted to be an astronaut. Sky Bluford, he was the first African-American to travel into space. I got to meet him as a kid. Oh, wow. And to me, one of the coolest things was when I got older and had a chance to work at NASA, this guy was one of my mentors. Really? Wow. Still yeah. there, eh? And uh, and he's, he lives here in this area. He lives over oh, in nice. Westlake, so he comes over here all the time. And it's really, really neat to see him and hang out with him. I mean, I guess I better better ask the question. Then. Are aliens real? <laughs> hey, now that part, we're on camera? Part, part of NASA's mission is to, uh, is to look for life. That's true. One of the things that we're doing with Mars is we're looking for water, because here on Earth, Anytime we found water, no matter how inhospitable, doesn't matter how cold, how hot, how much pressure or little pressure, where we found water, we found life. Now you know. It's crazy. Next time, guys, we'll talk about how to go to the bathroom in space. We'll talk about what to eat while you're in space. Don't hesitate to come out. Bring a friend. Bring a date. I don't care. Bring two. That'll be fun. It's got to bring two. What was the coolest part of this for you? I mean, just thinking about what uh, Cleveland has in a role, you know, in the NASA and not really knowing. I mean, you know, you see the Glen whenever you go. We fly out of Cleveland, Hopkins, but, you know, you don't really know the role here in Ohio and, and Cleveland, and it's pretty cool to hear, you know, there's about, I don't know, 20 or 25 people there on the list that are from Ohio that are astronauts, so it's pretty cool to see. Well, huge thanks to our hosts here today at the Great Lakes Science Center and the NASA Glenn Visitors Center. Hopefully you guys learned something new today. I know that our players did. Until next time in downtown Cleveland, I'm Tony Brown.